mask. Okay, thank you. Here we go. All right, number 26 on the like button. You got the shaman card, okay? They say, trust the path, all right? I want you to trust the path. All right, they say sets, setbacks are part of your growth. You are trying to figure out what to do. The answer is do the right thing. You are way more than the present moment. There is a spiritual solution for every challenge you have a need for. The very structures and guidance you usually run away from. You are on a path, my beloved. You are trying to fit into a group, but you naturally stand out. Traditional structures are your friend in this moment. In other words, don't rock the boat, okay? Don't rock the boat, all right? They say the shaman shows up uh, as a great energy. And he and uh, he is a uh, Vasamazulu, Credo, Mu. Muwa, the healer, storyteller, philosopher, and artist. He was known as Zulu Shaman. The Shaman is a personal messenger from the divine, a wise counselor and mentor. Okay. All right. They saying that you are, all right. They said ancestral medicine, wounded healer, take care of yourself. All right. Yes, your pains and traumas allow you to help others. Turn this energy of love inward now. Okay. So you have been helping other people, okay, through their anchors and stuff, but now it's time for you to be healed, all right? Number 27, all right, you got the root of fire. They want you to risk it all, risk it all, number 23 in the book, okay? Okay, all right. They say, yes, you can make it happen. It is safe for you to feel beyond your usual limits. Embrace your personal freedom and follow your passion. Be curious. They say, all root and plant spirits are messengers, the root of the fire. Also called the African dream root is an indication to move ahead. This plant sister wants you to explore your passion with enthusiasm. Okay? They want you to stop tiptoeing. Your ancestors were brave in ways that you cannot even imagine. Acknowledge their lessons of courage within your own journey. All right. Number 28. Number 28, you have the ancestral force card. All right. And it says completion. All right. They say be proud. Celebrate yourself. You have a well-deserved sense of wholeness, the vibe of fulfillment and harmony. You have a better understanding of who you are than ever before. You are protected. You are safe. It is safe to be safe. The ancestors have your back in full force. Embrace new opportunities. Okay? Embrace new opportunities. This is also the world card. Your declaration is, I embrace my sacred connection to infinite potentials. 29. Number 29, your card is out of earth. Altar of Earth, limitless prosperity, limitless. They say receive, 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 receive everything, wealth, love, health, opportunities. Make way for new financial and career opportunities. It is reaping season. Okay, number 29, it is reaping season. You should feel grounded and secure. It may be finally time to welcome those delicious rewards you've been collecting in your energetic vortex. This ancestor is unapologetically rich and successful. This is your time to shine. Embrace this fresh air, this fresh start with confidence and take practical steps to manifest your intentions, whether it be in the realm of finance, career, or health. Trust in your ability to create a rock solid foundation for success and make the most of the fertile ground ahead. Your ancestral memory is the altar of earth comes forward with the energy of Hindu goddess Budevi, the fertile mother earth incarnation of the prosperous Lakshmi. Okay? Practice what it feels like to be lucky. What does it mean to have resources at your disposal? How does your nervous central system feel when faced with abundance? Do you feel safe? This is the Ace of Pentacles in regular tarot. They say, your affirmation is, I open my arms wide to all wealth flowing my way. 